In a surprising move, Sony has decided to pivot from OLED to Mini LED as the display technology of choice for the company's 2024 flagship TV. Until now, OLED has been widely hailed by TV enthusiasts as the leading display technology for superior picture quality due to its self-emissive characteristic which delivers true blacks, vibrant colors, wide viewing angles, and near-instantaneous pixel response time. After all, Sony's own Bravia A95L QD OLED was voted by a panel of video professionals as the best TV of 2023 in our most recent Blinded TV Shudder event last year. So why did the Japanese brand suddenly switch direction and adopt Mini LED as its 2024 flagship TV technology? Well, during a media briefing at Sony's headquarters in Tokyo, Japan, the company explained that the decision was heavily influenced by the introduction of its new BVM H6310 mastering monitor, which can hit 4,000 nits of peak brightness on a 10% window and 1,000 nits full screen. Sony expects some content creators to begin pushing higher HDR brightness levels in their production chain due to the availability of a 4,000 nit reference monitor. And to align with this potential shift in creative intent, the company has decided to lean towards mini-LED technology which is capable of delivering higher luminance levels especially across the entire screen compared to OLED. Of course, another possible reason that Sony won't publicly admit is that at larger screen sizes, mini-LED LCD panels cost less to purchase than OLED panels, thus allowing for increased sales and larger profit margins particularly given that Samsung Display's QD OLED panels are unlikely to go beyond 77 inches this year. Sony actually demonstrated a prototype of its new flagship mini-LED TV in Tokyo. While the primary purpose of local dimming is to boost picture quality by enhancing contrast, some of you probably don't realize that effective local dimming can also reduce power consumption. So much so that Sony has set a target for its new 65-inch flagship mini-LED TV to improve its EU Eco label rating by one class, which means going from F to E. Those of you in academia knows that this means you're still failing, but with more effort. But trust me, it's not easy to go up one class under the European Union's energy labeling system. According to Sony, Local dimming performance is determined by three key components, namely a processor which separates the input video signal into data for the LCD and for the backlight respectively, an LED driver integrated circuit that converts the backlight data into analog signal, and finally the LEDs themselves where electrical signal is converted to light. Mini LEDs generally emit a sharp light profile with more precise illumination and less scattering, contributing to heightened contrast and less blooming artifacts. During the media briefing, Sony explained that its LED driver provides 12-bit control for writing time and 10-bit control for current or luminance, amounting to 22-bit control which maintains smoother gradation and more accurate detail across a wide dynamic range such as on televisions with high peak luminance. In addition, Sony's LED driver constantly checks and adjusts the LED voltage on a frame-by-frame -frame basis to compensate for variations in LED characteristics caused by current and temperature, ensuring that each LED is operating at an optimal voltage level to deliver the correct light output. Furthermore, Sony highlighted the superior performance of its hardware, such as the latest Bravia XR processor boasted by software updates, which optimizes the backlight level across all luminance levels to improve energy efficiency, since this targeted backlight management makes sure that power is not wasted in areas of the display that do not require it. Now, instead of resting on its laurels, Sony has implemented a couple of new innovations on its 2024 mini LED TV prototype to make it deserving of flagship status. 1. Sony's TV division has worked together with its semiconductor manufacturing arm to develop a new LED driver that's smaller than a sesame seed. Sony claimed that it's the tiniest LED driver in the world. 
Despite its minuscule size, the new Sony LED driver delivers similar performance levels to larger, conventional LED drivers, allowing for potentially more local dimming zones while keeping cost and power consumption down. Thanks to its diminutiveness, the new Sony LED driver can also exercise local control to adjust the current and pulse width modulation or PWM for specific areas or zones, instead of applying the same current across the entire LED array like what traditional LED drivers with global control would do. The result is greater efficiency and precision in controlling the mini-LED backlight. 2. Sony has devised a more efficient LED driving method to cut power consumption in darker scenes. A conventional LED drive would shorten the writing time to reduce light output, but because this actually uses the same current as that when driving a brighter area, the LED efficiency is suboptimal. The new method involves decreasing the current and increasing the writing time when depicting a dark area, leading to improved energy efficiency. To demonstrate, Sony set up a side-by-side -side comparison comprising its 2024 Mini LED TV prototype in the middle. Last year's Sony X95L Mini LED TV on the left and a Bravia A80L OLED TV on the right, all 65 inches in screen size. Unfortunately, Sony only had time to carry out the demonstration in vivid mode to show off the raw luminance potential of the prototype but it certainly looked brighter than the X95L while manifesting less blooming. Sony even put both mini-LED screens into a special engineering mode where only the backlight was displayed, and the 2024 prototype not only illuminated small elements on screen in a brighter manner, but also painted a clearer outline of each object on screen, likely courtesy of higher local dimming zone count and more precise backlight control. In a separate demo, Sony played the same content on all three televisions attached to a watt meter each, and the 2024 mini LED prototype consistently drew less power than the Sony X95L in the default out of the box standard mode, with and without eco settings enabled, and the prototype display did not look any dimmer than the X95L. On selected SDR sports programs containing backgrounds of concentrated colors, such as snooker or tennis, the 2024 Mini LED prototype even consumed less energy than the Sony A80L OLED, again with similar light outputs from both displays. It's a shame that Sony strategically refrained from including the Brave A95L QD OLED in this comparison because it certainly would have been interesting to see how the 2024 mini-LED prototype fared against the best TV of 2023, instead of versus the step-down A80L which suffers from lower peak luminance and color volume distortion at high brightness levels. Nevertheless, Sony asserted that mini-LED's full-screen luminance is still going to be brighter than QD OLEDs, and mini-LED TVs are not hampered by various protective auto-dimming measures implemented on OLEDs, even though the Japanese brand acknowledged that there are certain use cases, for example in a dark home theater room, where OLED is still more popular especially among video enthusiasts, some of whom regularly get their displays calibrated to enjoy the most accurate picture. Talking of which, UK electrical retailer Kragler Mall, who have kindly sponsored this video, are offering their in-store calibration service at only £199 if you buy selected TV models from them. I have personally trained their calibrator David Corner to my own high standards. He will run in the TV, calibrate it and deliver it to you after having the calibration approved by me. We've been doing this for more than two years, and customer feedback has been excellent. So please give Cranberry Mall a call if you wish to buy a calibrated TV or even any new television at a competitive price with top-notch customer service. Thanks again for your support. Okay, Sony has bigged up the performance of its mini-LED TVs, but how does the company's local dimming algorithm compare against rival brands? It just so happens I have done a side-by-side -side comparison video of Sony's current mini-LED TV versus mini-LED TVs from Hisense, TCL, and Samsung, and you can find out the results by clicking here.